Hey guys, it's Becca Gamer or Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel, my lovelies. I hope you're having an amazing day today. And if you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for stopping by. Let's get into this video. So I just wanna put a little disclaimer real quick. If you hear my dog whining, I am so sorry. My mom is out of town at the moment, so he misses her. So he's gonna be whining 24 seven. And we're using natural light today. So who knows how this lighting is going to turn out and you might hear some cars going by but we just go ignore that stuff because today i am finally doing at least to me long-awaited manga haul and it's not all haiku most of it is but not all of it stay till the last package and you'll find out what is not haiku part of this manga haul um if you don't know Hi, I am collecting all 45 volumes of Haiku. I don't know how many I have now. I can throw it up on the screen. After I unbox these, the number on the screen is how many I have at the moment. Um, I just started out buying what I could find at my Books A Millions in store. And like, I work at a mall, so I check my local Books A Million almost every week to see if they have any new volumes in stock. And then I'll order off a line occasionally. With this package, I ordered six volumes, but only four have come so far. I'm still waiting on volumes three and 11 because they're on back order. I don't know when I'm gonna get those. Books A Million shipping is so quick. That's pumpkin playing. I'm so sorry about that noise. Books A Million shipping is so quick unless it's on back order, then it's, <laughs> you're either gonna get it in like three months or you're not getting it all, but it's fine. But first, before we open the fun packages, I will tell you what I've gotten in store. So in store with my Books A Million membership, I pay $8.99 each volume because I get the 10% off. So my first trip in store, they had two volumes that I don't have. First one being volume 21, Beautiful. And then volume 37, this cover is so cute of Kuro and Kemma. I love that for them. The sweetest babies. And then I went again and they had volume 44, Hala. This is the back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are in store. I am so excited to open this and this too, but. This has been sitting in my room for the longest now, and I just, oh my god, wanted to open it so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, bubble wrap. So we have volume two, such a cute cover. Try and get the glare off of it. And then Suki. Why did I forget Yamaguchi's name? I call him Yama. I don't know if a lot of people do that, but I call him Yama. Oh, I'm, I want to read these so bad. I got this package of, no matter if it was on pre-order or not, I just wanted at least 1 through 11. And I have 1 through 11, except I'm still waiting on 3 and 11. So 3 is holding me back. I want to start reading my manga, but I don't have 3. You know, so I'll only be able to read one and two at this point this is volume six the two kings here the back is pretty dope and then some of these covers are just oh my god this cover is beautiful of Tsukishima I'm here for the Tsukishima slander like season one season two Suki he, he he was an asshole let's be real but like so was Kageyama Kageyama was a self-centered egotistical asshole in season one like if you if you want to be really real here but the only person people be hating on is Tsukishima if you really want to be real here um uh, but Tsukishima he was just not passionate about volleyball because the one time he was passionate and shared that with someone they lied to him so I personally love Suki, especially in seasons three and four. He gets to be a lot better. There's the back, the little, the little four guys there. I love, I love this cover. This is probably one of my favorites. This is volume eight. <sighs> Miyama's on the back. 
seven haiku volumes added to my collection. Now we're gonna open this. I ordered this volume because the books a million I have at my like local one, that was not English. They didn't have it in store. Okay. Pumpkin got her toy back out after I just hit it. So love that for me. This is thick too. Um, I ordered it online because they didn't have it in store. And then of course, after it came to me, they have multiple volumes in store. So I'm not trying to be a manga collector or anything, but I had to read at least one of his volumes. I had to. It's just like a no brainer. If you read manga, you've read Junji Ito. Oh, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. Hi, honey. Oh my goodness. And then the color, the color in the beginning. If you don't know, Junji Ito is a horror manga author, drawer, writer, girl. I don't know. Oh, that's a very popular drawing of Junji Ito's. Um, oh my god. Uzumaki is a classic. I feel like if you ask a uh, manga reader where they read a lot of manga and they and you say, hey, what Junji Ito volume should I read? They're probably going to say Uzumaki because it's just a classic and I am so excited to read this. Can I stack all of these? Holla. Okay, we're gonna take these out of the sunlight and I will see you guys later. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. If you haven't already, click like, click subscribe for me and I'll see you guys later. Bye!